<clears throat> Hi everyone! It's V from Vibrating Visions and I'm here today to do a walkthrough and tutorial about how I do my triptastic landscape pictures. Um, these are some examples of ones I've done before. This was the first run of them and now I'm ready to try some new things and take you guys along the journey now that I have the science of it down. Um, when I first did this it was really scary because these canvas prints are so expensive and I was just so scared to ruin them but years ago with my sister Emiliana Stein, she does fine art, um, we did a canvas series and the canvases were so much more expensive, so less accessible. We did a um, GoFundMe <laughs> to get the money to create the work, um, the Lucid Distortion. I don't know if you guys are some OGs, you might remember. I'm going to link it over here if you want to see some cringy things. <laughs> um, but today we are going to be taking these, <clears throat> these are canvas prints and they are 20, 16 by 20 and they are my original photographs on them that are printed. We're going to take these and we're going to turn them into some fine art pieces and I'm going to take you along the way. Okay, so first First off, I want to say I did not come up with this. This is not an original idea, but I feel like art really, none of it is technically completely original. We all get inspired by things. It's inspired, being inspired by something is not the same as copying. Do not copy people's art, but be inspired and create things that could be similar, but in your own style with your own ideas. Um, also, it's raining here. I've had COVID for the past um, week. I'm still recovering. I feel good, thank God. But um, I had Instacart come and deliver me all these paints. And I'm really excited about using them. Um, we are going to be using Fluid Art Ready to Pour acrylics. Um, I have a camera over here too, so I will be showing that camera all these things look um, the ready to pour liquid art um, I have a bunch of fun colors too they come in a little package um, which is really awesome I've used these before um, but I wanted to try instead of just the black and white I wanted to try to add some pops of color to these pieces um, and then you're also going to need a dustpan um, for this type of pouring. This is what I use. Um, I would like to find one without a lip, but I cannot find it right now. Hopefully we will soon. Um, and then your canvases. Um, you can also do... I've seen a lot of people do this art <clears throat> with just straight painting, but my spin on it and my take of it is all my photography because I love selling my original prints but as a photographer I find if I can turn it into fine art and combine all of my passions and talents it makes it that much more special and these are originals cannot be duplicated I I have a lot of people ask me if I'm going to do prints and I don't think that's something I'll ever do with these things first we got to protect our space protect our clothes I don't really care if I get things on this outfit. Um, obviously I don't want to, but just make sure you have a smock on or something. I put all my paints and, <clears throat> um, I want to say gadgets, that's not the right word, supplies to the side first. <clears throat> Luckily, my canvases came in some beautiful big, um, cardboard boxes and they have kind of like a um, basin in them so the paint does not get all over the floor and um, or your porch 
and I suggest you have something that doesn't have a incline because the paint will move around and you don't want that at all. Um, I have five canvases here and we are going to paint them. This is the first one to go. Um, I definitely want to do a ribbon across the sky. I think this one is going to stay black and white. Um, there are a couple other ones that I want to put maybe a pop of color in, but this one I believe is going to be just the black and white. Next, you want to open up all your paints that you have on hand. Um, these colored ones are not going to be used right away, but I do want to have them ready in case I do want to use them. Put them to the side. Um, usually they have kind of a little protective little top here and I like to pull that off first and get those ready in between each see I'm already getting messy in between each pour you're gonna have to mm, wash your hands and wash the um, tool you're using you can also use a cup for this if you look up or paint technique there are tons of different techniques that you can use this is just the technique I am using today so now these are off I actually I like to keep these plastic bags I know they're not great for environment but they are good for keeping all this shit fucking together you don't want shit everywhere. You just don't. It's not ideal. Okay. Now. Now for the fun pops. We are going to take our mm, our little dustpan and we're going to start by putting paint in there. So I like to get the white down first for this one and then you just pour it on the top into the other paint color. And I like to do these colors intermittently. You can do them any way you want. I find if you do them kind of tight that it creates the look and aesthetic that I want. But there really is no wrong way to do this. Um, just when you have the paint actually down there's no turning back so just be aware of that part of it so I try to get a lot because um, you know it will go on the top I think I might need some more paints actually just want to make sure you have enough of the color to go across your whole Painting. I like to also bring it off the sides. Okay. I want to spend and start with the white. Okay. So now, let's get this kind of in the frame. And now we pour it across the sky. This. Bam! So as you can see, it gets a little messy. That is why we have this whole thing in here. And then we can kind of fuck with it and make it even more trippy and trippy. And it already was. 
This is kind of the scarier part and the more fun part because you can play with it and you see the excess will just come right off. And the more paint you have on it, the more you'll be able to kind of like play with it and move it around. But so sometimes you can you can also blow on them. I don't really like that effect as much. This is the finished product for me, I think. I'm very happy with this one. Now we are going to lay it down. I also have a ton of cardboard on the ground on this side so that nothing will get destroyed. So now we're gonna do this guy. Next one. So now that there's paint on this, um, it's a little bit more complicated. I don't know if I really mind getting on the back. We just wanna make sure, you know, if you do, you're okay with that. Um, I actually might not be okay with that on this one, so. Ah! I'm gonna get more cardboard. I think that if we move, we might have to re arrange everything. Real slash TikTok, while I'm doing this one, I decided I was really inspired by this beach set and I think I'm gonna do it down here because this is more interesting to me than this, the waves, because they're dark. Um, and I think I'm actually going to be using this yellow. Okay, so let's start with the black. I like to keep all these open too, little pro tip easier when you're reaching and I just flipped over flip this guy over I'm gonna try to pour from the side I think we are a little bit on the incline but We'll see what happens. Anything could happen. Ooh, this yellow is fun. That reminds me of a bee. I'm gonna try to do a little bit tighter. The yellow doesn't look super mixed, which is maybe an issue. Hopefully, it comes out all right. Hold your breath for me. Hold your breath. Hold your breath for me. Because, ah! Don't let the top get in it. See, I don't really know what I'm doing. We're just going with it, and hopefully, it's going to come out pretty because otherwise we'll be sad. I'll be my baby. Okay. It looks like an egg. It literally does. Oh, let's see if there's a way. I'm going to set up this tripod. Two. You guys always know you gotta get your reels and your TikTok content. You know you gotta get it. Otherwise you won't. You no, know, I might just do it like no, I'm gonna do it right. This is the most frustrating part of doing art. You gotta set up a million things, but you know what? It's fine. It's okay. I'm 
we are gonna pour. Do 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 do. Wow! <clears throat> so, as I was posting, as I was posting my progress on my social media, my Instagram specifically, somebody actually purchased one of my paintings as I was creating it. Ah! It is this one. This burn picture. Someone luckily nabbed it. They are going for $222. So someone luckily got this. They trusted me with my creative vision and that is just beautiful I'm so excited um this totally made my day and I mean anytime someone buys my original art just like makes my heart swell but if you are frustrated with posting on social media remember this um okay so I figured out that Instagram puts a watermark on their reels and I want to do TikTok as well so i'm gonna have to on top of recording with this camera this camera or be recording on my phone as well and not just to the app um so we're going to be doing this guy next this is taken in california on the black sands beach okay back to work let's go i don't know why i'm talking in these weird voices but this is what's happening today <laughs> on the phone and I'm gonna do my last video I looked like completely crazy because my face was like this trying to get the thing I'll include a clip over here of how stupid I looked but we're gonna try to make this one a little bit more flattering bum 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 The magic is happening. How can I get a little closer on this guy? Oh. Oh, oh, oh.
So I think what I'm gonna do is, this cardboard is super dirty now. There's just so much paint on it. I think what I'm gonna do is let this dry and get a whole nother um, box out just because I don't wanna even worry about getting these other two canvases that are last dirty. Just, it makes things a lot cleaner and clean up a lot easier. I'm gonna do the tree one. I took a little break, ate a little mango, but we're gonna do this guy. Okay, I got a fresh cardboard thing. There's definitely one under it and one on top, so that is what we're going to do. Um, this time I'm going to film myself doing this. There's so much filming going on, like, I like this and I'm glad I'm able to do all this, but like, this is so much work. So much fucking work. I don't think people understand how much damn time this takes. We're gonna try to do these pretty tight on this one because I didn't do it for the other one. I'm not filming this whole thing, because you know what? It doesn't matter. The arts is what matters the most. This is mm. I hope this YouTube video is interesting, because I haven't made one in a long time. And I don't know, but if you do enjoy these types of videos, I do make a ton on Patreon. Um, Patreon is more of like my nude things and my art that I can't share publicly mainly because I get banned which really sucks that it's like that but it's also cool because Patreon is like a judgment free platform where I can share with everybody there and I just really enjoy that page so if you like content like this and you want more tutorials and like uncensored content and you like my art and want to support me maybe you want some exclusive pictures I'm gonna link that over here check it out this one is coming out really cool very excited about this Sometimes I just don't know how much paint to use because we're not sure like how much will go into it. Deciding like do I want to go straight through the middle of this guy or do I want to go kind of off. Okay. Um. make sure those things aren't in the way because mine just kind of got in the way of me. And I think I'm kind of running out of paint on the end of this. Yep. This one might be a double tap. Damn, I didn't even get it in there. these videos just you know you don't really know what they're gonna do mm -hmm. 
And this is what we're doing, it's just letting it drip down. I don't always do this with them, but sometimes. I don't know. I don't know if I like that effect or not. You might double tap this guy. I can't tell if I want to or not yet. I do hope that we can get these drippies all the way down to the bottom. These guys are right here. might be a double tap but we'll just have to see at the end just kind of shaking a little bit oops just gotta make sure you don't get the paint on the side well, I'm going to let this dry and then see how I feel about it. I think I'm going to do another one on this one, but we have to let it dry first. So. Yeah. the side up of this one. Okay, we're gonna leave this one alone. This one is done. Okay, we need to... I'm gonna move this, actually, because it's just like, um, this piece, and then I need to go wash all this stuff and wash my hands because they are just, like, fucking covered, and I don't want to, um, I really just don't want any of my other paintings to get this color so let's go okay. phone case it's from caseify this is not sponsored i wish it was <laughs> caseify sponsor me i've been doing this for hours at this point and i'm over it like i need to finish this and this is the most important one okay just ready to finish this this is the one that is sold to an amazing friend and fan and model. Ah! She did the slime video photo shoot a while back, which is on Patreon. Um, there's a little damage on the top of this one, so I think that I'm gonna go on the side like I did with my waterfall and then push it off. So I need a lot of paint for this guy. A lot of paint. We go on this side. Yeah. We're gonna use a lot of paint for this boy. So I'm gonna get my base down. And then we're gonna go slowly. Make sure. this pour is okay because usually I might do two let's see we're gonna try something a little different with this guy <laughs> hopefully it comes out great because I'm in all honesty I've never done it this direction but let's see I'm 
It looks cool, so hopefully it is cool. We're gonna need a lot of paint with this boy because he's gonna go on the side. And I wanna make sure it looks cool. This is a three part pour. I've never done a pattern like this. The good thing is if we fuck up, it's ruined! Just kidding, I'm not gonna fuck up. It's art, art cannot be fucked. Art is unique. Okay. Well, that looks cool. Let's do my little video. Okay. Yeah, there's all these bubbles in this. Super cute. Okay. Oh. Ah. There we go. My video set up. So cool, what the fuck? Oh no. Got on the middle of this. Hopefully we can just wipe that. There is spit on this one. Well. This way. <gasps> oh, looks so cool. I'm gonna drip some of this off. Oh my god, that looks so fucking cool. So cool. Um I do not want these little drippy guys though on this thing, so I'm just using a little bit of my spit. You could use water, but <laughs> mine are mortalized with my spit. Extra worth. Just kidding. Um, I want the side of this to drip down because I think it adds to it being really finished. I sold. So it looks really cool. The little bubbles on this guy. I'm really excited about this. Okay, guys. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. Like I said before, if you want exclusive art, if you want more tutorials, if you want to support me as an artist, you can check out my Patreon page here. Also, I'm going to link my website over here and all of the other links are below with items that you can buy on uh, my website, follow me on Instagram, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. If you want to see more videos of this, I would love to get back into it, but I need your support. <laughs> um, so yeah, have fun. Hopefully I'll see you around. Bye.